Our out of this world lead is way out of this world, 390 light years away, in fact. For context, one light year is equivalent to 6 trillion miles. In humanity's relentless pursuit of unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, we've embarked on a quest that goes beyond time itself, seeking answers to age-old questions woven into the fabric of existence. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, recently detected a glimpse of a structure predating the birth of stars. This celestial object appeared to be older than the universe itself, raising more questions than it answers. How could a structure exist that predates our universe, or is the Big Bang Theory at fault? Join us as we embark on an odyssey guided by the revelations of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion-year-old structure await, and the journey to unravel cosmic mysteries has only just begun. In a distant corner of the cosmos, roughly 200 light-years away, an ancient star called HD 114283 resides near the Libra constellation. This stellar traveler moves briskly through space, offering intriguing glimpses into its tumultuous past. Some 12 billion years ago, during a time when our Milky Way was still in its infancy, it absorbed a dwarf galaxy that once called it home. Yet what truly captivates our cosmic curiosity about HD 142283 isn't just its speedy journey, but its astonishing age. Among the celestial entities we've observed, it stands as one of the oldest, earning the endearing moniker Methuselah Star, akin to the biblical figure Methuselah, who legend has it lived for 969 years. Initially estimated to be a staggering 16 billion years old, the latest calculations suggest a slightly younger age of 14.46 billion years, with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. This revelation about its age puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe, deduced from the cosmic microwave background, hovers around 13.8 billion years. This conundrum raised important questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down, figuring out the age of celestial objects can be a real puzzle. Take stars, for instance. Like the sun, they're like eternal light bulbs, maintaining their glow, temperature, and size for billions of years, making them tricky to date. Astronomers play cosmic detectives, using changes in brightness and color as clues, matching these with models predicting how stars change over time. One age giveaway is how fast a star twirls, like a wheel slowing down from friction, stars do too. By comparing the spinning speeds of stars at different ages, astronomers have figured out a cool trick called gyrochronology. Stars also spill their age secrets through magnetic gossip, flares and bursts of energy on a star's surface are like youthful enthusiasm. As a star ages, this show slows down. Astronomers, being the space sleuths they are, use advanced techniques like astroseismology, which is like eavesdropping on a star's inner conversations, listening to vibrations caused by waves traveling through its insides. These vibrations spill the beans on the star's age. For instance, applying this cosmic eavesdropping, astronomers roughly clocked the sun at 4.58 billion years. Now, let's revisit Methuselah star. The ancient aura around it isn't just random. Astronomers tagged it with a crazy old age by checking out its cosmic neighborhood. Stars can be split into categories based on how much bling, or heavy elements like iron, they have. Our sun is a bit of a metal head, belonging to population 1 stars. Methuselah star, on the other hand, is like an old-school rock star from population 2, rocking fewer heavy elements. It's this stellar bling, or lack thereof, that helps astronomers play cosmic archaeologists, deciphering the age tales of these celestial beings. Now imagine a group of stars, the theoretical population 3, which scientists believe might be like the universe's rare gems. While they're still hiding backstage and haven't made an appearance in our telescope spotlight, Astronomers suspect these stars might be the rock stars of minimalism, containing almost no heavy elements. To understand this stellar lineup, let's rewind to the universe's early days after the Big Bang. Imagine a cosmic kitchen filled mostly with hydrogen and helium, the universe's basic ingredients, about 92% hydrogen and 8% helium, or if we weigh them, roughly 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. In this cosmic symphony, the first actors on stage were the population three stars. They were massive and hot, burning through their cosmic fuel swiftly, transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early cosmic giants exploded, they scattered these heavy elements into the vast cosmic space. Next in line were the population 2 stars, forming a bit later, but still in the universe's early days. Their original materials were light on heavy elements, especially iron. Many of them danced through their stellar life cycles, bursting into supernovas and adding more heavy elements to the universal mix. 
Finally, the Population One stars, including our Sun, emerged as cosmic latecomers. They formed from enriched gas clouds mingling with remnants from the earlier Population Two stars. Some of these Population Two stars also went out with a bang, contributing more heavy elements to the cosmic recipe. Now the big question, does this stellar story throw a cosmic curveball at the Big Bang Theory? It's a head-scratcher, but here's the twist. Considering the uncertainties, there's a 70% chance that Methuselah star, the ancient celestial wanderer, could be somewhere between 13.66 and 15.36 billion years old. The lower end even aligns with the age of the entire universe, and there's a 30% chance that this ancient celestial wanderer's age is playing outside the cosmic rulebook. Similarly, there's a 15% chance it's not just a little outside the box but even younger. Imagine rolling a regular six-sided die and hoping for that elusive six, statistically plausible, right? But regardless of these cosmic curveballs, what's certain is that Methuselah star is not just a cosmic veteran, it's the granddaddy of stars. We've managed to give it an age tag that's pretty darn precise. Now here's where it gets mind-bending, instead of scratching our heads about whether Methuselah star could be a couple of billion years older than its galactic neighbors, let's flip the cosmic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? Wrapping our minds around 13.8 billion years is like trying to fathom the vastness of space itself. If we turn the entire history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most spectacular New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the celestial bash until the last seconds of December 31st, human recorded history? Well, that's merely a blip in time, covering just the last 10 seconds. Our stellar detectives determined the universe's age by peering at ancient starlight born a few hundred million years post-Big Bang. As the universe stretches, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. Crunching the numbers on both distance and expansion, scientists declared a universal age of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the cosmic plot thickens. A cosmic whisper from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 267 billion years old. Professor Rendra Gupta brings in a vintage theory from 1929, crafted by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory throws a curveball, suggesting that as light particles called photons journey across the vastness of space and time, they lose some of their energy. Even though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've seen through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic compromise. He thinks we can blend this theory with our existing idea of an expanding universe, creating a sort of hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now, fasten your seat belts, because adjusting the universe's age to a whopping 267 billion years is no small feat Gupta adds another spice to the cosmic mix by combining the tired light theory with a concept of evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Dirac. This concept suggests that how particles interact may have changed over the eons. And hey, scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was just a mere 2 billion years old. We've come a long way since then, refining our cosmic math. Doubling the universe's age is like taking a giant leap in our cosmic understanding. But let's pause for a moment. Whether this new perspective becomes the cosmic norm is still up in the stars. Regardless of whether humanity's recorded history is a mere blink of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand scheme of the universe, one thing's clear, the cosmos is a treasure trove of ancient wonders and endless inspiration. Shifting our gaze to our cosmic backyard of the Milky Way, there's a captivating cosmic tango at play. Recent measurements hint that stars on the outskirts of our galaxy are strutting their stuff in slow motion compared to their counterparts in other galaxies. What's the cosmic scoop? Well, there are a couple of theories, and one whisper is that our Milky Way might be low on an invisible cosmic ingredient called dark matter, the elusive substance influencing the gravitational dance of celestial objects. There's a cosmic puzzle involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see, but that seems to play a gravitational tug-of-war in the cosmos. One possibility shaking our cosmic understanding is that maybe we've been looking at dark matter the wrong way, our cosmic compass might be pointing in the wrong direction. Here's where the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite steps into the cosmic spotlight. It's like our cosmic detective, providing intricate details about the positions and movements of over a billion stars. From the farthest reaches of our galaxy to those right in our neighborhood, Gaia's meticulous measurements have left scientists wondering if dark matter is playing a lesser role in shaping the speed of stars at our galaxy's fringes. But this isn't the only game-changing theory in town. The outer halo of the Milky Way stars might be engaging in a cosmic dance with a different type of force altogether, a new theory about a fifth fundamental force. 
this fifth force might be linked to something called a dark sector, which includes more elusive particles that don't interact with light in the same way we typically think of particles.